Welcome to my channel, Brand Live. So at this point, I am currently almost four months post relaxer. So um, my roots are crazy, crazy, and I just flat ironed my hair. But as you guys can see, it's starting to really wave back up. So I was not going to straighten it again. So um, here I am, just doing this protective style with everything I have and trying to make sure it doesn't curl up anymore so as you guys can see I just parted my hair uh, down the middle just so I can work with two even sections and then I'm starting in the middle and braiding um, just the one small braid and then I'm going to put two bigger braids on the sides so I didn't use much product but I did use this extreme hold Murray's edge um tamer but guys this stuff really doesn't work too well for me um i don't know if it's because it's like a grease base but it does work for some of my clients but for me no nothing that i used in this video works so um i should have just used my gorilla snot because i don't know what i was thinking but um yeah guys i just braided this second braid and I didn't add any weave because my arms were hurting already and um, I just didn't want to be adding any hair into there I just was like I'm gonna do this the natural way use my hair for mostly everything but the ponytail So guys I'm going in and combing my hair out once more because I am going to put my hair into a ponytail so at this point I'm looking like wow I have all these got daggone waves my ponytail ain't gonna look right but guess what we just gonna roll with it so I didn't put any product on it because I did not want my hair to wave up more so I just put it in a really tight ponytail as tight as I could get it um, with no product and then I'm gonna go in after with some product and I did use the Murray's again guys and you can keep your hair like this but of course if you want to go an extra step and make it really dramatic then you can go ahead and do these next steps and add your ponytail secure my braid with a ponytail holder I'm just gonna go in with my needle and thread and I use the large needles they just seem easier to grab but my hands are little so I can really grab the, the smaller ones as well but so I'm just going in starting at the bottom and I'm just gonna do a few stitches a loop stitch right at the bottom and um, I did I think I did two loop stitches yeah so I just did two loop stitches here and I would have, um, some people use glue for this, but I don't really like to too much mess with glue. So I just used my needle and thread. And the hair that I use, guys, is from my scrap pile. So I have a scrap pile of hair that, you know, when you're making your wigs and sewings and stuff, and you have leftover hair. This is what I use. So it's a little bit of my Domly hair, a little bit of my West Kiss hair. And I'll leave those videos up top so you guys can see what hair I'm talking about. But yeah guys, I just continued this process 
then um, I loop it a couple times and then I make the stitch on top of the braid and the farther I got up it was hard for me to do because like I said guys I'm doing this on myself so um, really I just repeated these steps and uh, made sure that the, the needle was going around the needle and thread was going around the weft I didn't go through the weft um, so yeah guys and this held up really good Now for my favorite, favorite part, guys, making my curly sideburns. I absolutely love sideburns in any case, but I especially love the curly ones, guys. So I just went in and used some of my Got To Be Glue gel and um, put it on there, wrapped it around my rat tail comb, and there are my curls. And here I'm just applying my lippy, and I thought you guys would like to see this. If you guys want to know what products I use, then just leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to answer.